Hey, what's going on everybody? Echo Side Fiend here once again, and uh, today I got a cool item to show you guys, and you can probably hear my cat complaining uh, down below me. I'm not really sure what her problem is, but uh, she is upset about something. So anyway, I got a uh, cool item to show you guys here today. Uh, so a couple days ago, I was at my ex-girlfriend's house uh, going through some of my stuff that I still have there. She's been really cool and letting me keep some things there. After we parted ways, uh, Just I just didn't have a lot of room to, uh, I mean, I'm in an apartment here, so I didn't have a lot of room for stuff here, and my folks uh, were saying, like, you know, you can't keep piling stuff up here, which is totally understandable, um, but uh, my ex, uh, Amy, uh, her and her fiance are, are moving pretty soon in the next uh, month or so, I think, so she hit me up, you know, she's like, hey, some of this stuff's got to, not, not some of it, she's like, all, you know, the stuff that's here, you got you to come and pick it up, and, you know, she's like, you can do it over the course of time, but it's got to get out of here, you know, so... I've been over there last, uh, making stops here and there, and um, just going through stuff. A lot of stuff I just have to get rid of, but even if I don't want to, you know, just it's got to go. So, uh, but I've been going through some stuff and uh, keeping things and bringing things over here. And uh, I was down in the basement the other day, and uh, I had just some, uh, a couple boxes down there, and I came across like this stack of posters uh, that I had. Um, some of them were still in tubes, like, you know, I hadn't even opened them, I had a couple, like, WWE ones, I think I got one of, like, Lita from, like, way back in the day, uh, and it's, like, still in the tube, I never even opened it, um, and then, uh, I have a Lord of the Rings, uh, movie poster, when I say movie poster, I mean from the walls of a fucking movie theater that was here in Grand Rapids, um, I was dating a girl back then, when it was the Fellowship of the Ring, and her brother was a manager there, and he took the poster down, you know, and they put him in the, in the case, you know, Hanging, hanging in the lobby, and he rolled it up and put it in a fucking tube for me, so thankfully that's still in the tube, thankfully not damaged at all or anything like that, because that is going to be like, that I got to find a, a frame for and hang that up, but anyway, in that stack of posters, uh, I came across a couple of my old ICP posters, and uh, I'm going to show one of them here, because uh, this one uh, really means a lot to me, and there's a certain reason why I think this one is so fucking cool, and I will be showing you that, so... Uh, we're gonna go ahead and turn around and take a look here. So obviously it is a great Malenko poster Nothing uh, nothing out of the ordinary, right? I mean just a, a picture that's uh, you know freely found on the internet uh, Pretty much in pretty uh, you know any type of photo shoot that you can look at from this era You'll find that in there or very similar But one of the really cool things that I like about this is this is actually from the wall of a record store that was here for many years in Grand Rapids, it was called Vinyl Solution, and um, this uh, this store they carried everything. They carried CDs, they carried cassette tapes, they carried vinyl. Long before vinyl was making a comeback, they had a huge used section. They had a um, Ticketmaster you could buy, um, you know, tickets for concerts for anywhere too. I mean, it wasn't just Grand Rapids, and um, also this the store was locally owned as well. It was, um, uh, you know, I I don't know who the owners were, but it was all locally owned. Uh, and this is a pretty good size store. Uh, they had, they carried, uh, you know, punk, rock, metal, hip hop, rap, uh, your country, anything, you know, they had a local section. If you were in a band, you could have your, your, you know, tape, CD, whatever sold there. Uh, they had a basement, uh, you know, I wouldn't even say a basement. It was just like a downstairs massive area. They carried t-shirts and hats and sweatshirts. And if they, if any you know, band that you liked had like shorts or, or, you know, pants or anything with their logos on it. They had it. And if they didn't have it, they could get it for you. And, uh, heckity stop. And, um, so, uh, this place, you know, uh, there was this, they, there was a girl that worked there, uh, that I knew in passing. I wasn't like friend friends with her, but she was friends with other friends of mine. And, uh, they would get these posters, uh, you know, directly from the record companies and they had like a spot where they would hang them up and they'd peel, you know, new album available now, any of that kind of stuff. And, uh, you know, over the course, they'd have them hanging up. And then over the course of, you know, a couple of months or whatever, they'd take it down and put up a, a new poster. And so this girl that I knew just through some other people, she knew that I was a big ICP fan. And she, you know, thought enough of me to take it down, roll it up and bring it to me. And uh, so I now have that poster that was hanging on the wall. So... Again, uh, nothing spectacular about it until you come down here and take a look. And uh, this is, I don't even know if all the years that I had it, if that even dawned on me. It's a fucking Hollywood Records poster. 
Um, and you can see how damaged the poster is. And uh, main reason why is that when I when she gave it to me, I mean, I was 20 years old. I didn't frame stuff. I just brought it home and taped it to my wall. I think I had my townhouse at the time that uh, she gave this to me. And I would just hang it in my bedroom, just hung it up with tape, you know, and I moved. I've had, you know, several places over the years. And um, I moved, you know, I've been back to my folks a couple of times and things like that, you know. And uh, I would... Uh, I would just take it down and I would just hang it up, you know, and so, and I would like, I, you know, I, when I moved, I think I always tried to be careful with it, you know, I didn't like fold it up or anything, but it just got damaged and, uh, obviously where my exes, it was sitting down there in the basement for a while, which, I mean, it was just in a pile of stuff, it, there wasn't anything like heavy sitting on it, it was just a pile of posters, but, um, you know, just, and it did, thankfully didn't get wet or anything, you know, because that, that basement over there is not like super sealed up or anything, but. So, yeah, I just, and it, it, it's kind of funny, like, when I when I was framing it, you know, putting it in this frame, and I, I kind of, you know, saw that, I mean, it's obviously, it's right there, plain as day, but I just don't think it ever dawned on me that it was Hollywood Records, you know, and I saw that, and I was like, holy fuck, now I kind of wish I had been a little more careful with this, however, it's not like I would have got rid of it, it's not like if it was worth money, I wasn't going to go sell it, I would have kept it, anyway, and then I also look at the fact that it's, um, you know, just how beat up it is just shows to me how long that it's been with me. You know, it's been probably 22 years, all the different places I've had it hanging up, all the memories that are attached to it. So I was like, I guess part of me doesn't really care that it's beat up and I put it in a frame now and it's going to stay in there and that's where it'll be for the foreseeable future. So Man, I don't know. I was just like really glad to have this back. I mean, I knew it was at my ex's. I knew I had brought it over there when I moved over. And I just uh, kind of, even though I knew it was there, I'm like, God, what if it got thrown out? Something like that. And then I just came across it. I was like, yes, you know, finally. And uh, so I, I bought, I picked it up and I, you know, I used a tape measure right there and measured it just to make sure that I knew what size. And I stopped at a store, a hobby store on the way home and bought that frame. So, but yeah, this just an awesome collector's piece. Again, I know it's nothing like the photo isn't rare or anything, but just for me to have it back. And, you know, just, again, the story of how I got it, you know, that this girl that I, I don't even remember what her name was. I remember she was incredibly attractive. but uh, So, of course, I didn't forget that. But, uh, yeah, just to, to know that I just knew her through other people, and she thought enough of me to take the poster down and, and roll it up and bring it to me. I remember uh, there was a, a coffee shop that was also a music store. It's called Music Expresso. It's long gone too, but uh, it was in downtown Grand Rapids, and we would go there and park, and um, and then we and then we'd you know meet up there, and then we'd go downtown skateboarding from there. We'd just leave our cars there, and there was a lot of regulars there. There was a, a lot of people that were normal you know regular customers there, um, and it was all it was kind of odd you know teens and you know early twenties type of crowd. It was you know punks and uh, goths and skaters and everybody and. I remember I was sitting there one time, and I still remember her coming in, and she saw me, and she's like, oh, hey, Tim. Everybody just called me Tim, then I wasn't Timmy yet. You know, she's like, Tim, I got something for you. And she turned around and ran back out to her car, and she brought this in for me, and I was like, oh, fuck yeah, you know? And at the time, all I thought was, oh, that's very nice of her to give it to me, you know? And now I look at it, and I'm like, holy fuck, I'm glad I got this, you know? So, so whoever you were that gave this to me, I, I, I mean, I remember what you look like, or what you did look like, and uh, but I don't remember your name. If you are somehow, some way coming across this, thank you so much for giving this to me 22 fucking years ago, and just know that I still have it, and it still means a lot to me, so this will be hanging on the wall of everywhere that I live from here on out, so I just wanted to show that. I know there's I've been going on for a while, but uh, and it's just one poster. I guess I really stretch this out quite a bit but you know what I, I love it and i wanted to share it so uh if you watched all the way through this thank you so much and uh, as usual thank you for watching thank you for supporting this is echo side fiend and i will catch you in the next one too sweet <laughs>